Alright, welcome to another tutorial here on Adobe Premiere CS3 on how to capture some video. So, you're going to open up your project and you're going to go to File, Capture, also using the hotkey F5. We'll do it as well. It's going to open up this capture window very similar to the log and capture window used in uh, Final Cut Pro. You're going to call up your uh, your video here on your tape deck. I'm currently uh, using the rewind on the tape deck here. Go over here. You have two ways to uh, to do it. You can Here's your controls for your tape deck as well, as long as your tape deck's on remote control. You can either capture now, whereas you will hit, uh, hit this record button and then click play, and then stop it at the end. I'll show you how to do that now. Let's click record and play. Uh, as you can see at the top, it's capturing. It'll tell you how long And then you can click stop and it'll uh, stop. It'll give you a, uh, you can name your clip and this will be the name it is in the bin. Let's do test one. And as you can see now, it's over there in the bin. Another way you can do it is uh, logging capturing, which you can set your time code. Let's say we want our time code for this to be uh, right here. I'll hit the I button. I'm using the I hotkey or you can click the set in and it's going to log this of 3309. Let's say I wanted to do this for uh, about five seconds there we go all we have to do is click log clip we're gonna name it test 2 and we're gonna click OK as you can tell it's over in our bin but it does look different than this one it has not actually been logged let's set another one let's just do random uh, clip here let's go back on the tape a little bit right there let's do 3104 to 3115 let's log this one as well name it test 3 all right, so when we're done, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the ones in the bin and we're going to do batch capture. So we're not using anything in this actual capture window. We're going to highlight the ones in the bin, go to batch capture, click OK. It's going to ask you to put the tape in. You click OK. You do have the tape in. And then it's going to do what it needs to do. It's going to capture both of the clips on its own, which is very nice. This is also be very helpful if you're editing and you're in the field and you write down your time codes in the field. Go back, you can set your in outs and log it without even messing with your tape. So as you can see, it's going through and logging and capturing the two clips that we set the in out points for. Once you're done, you can click uh, once it's done, it's going to batch capture finished. You're going to go to the, you're going to exit out of this window, and your media is going to be in your bin. And then you can just take it and drag it down into your timeline as you would any other footage, or double click, open it up in the source window.